Okay, well, um, welcome to another gaming and talking, this time in Geometry Dash 2.2. After seven years of waiting, was it worth it? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Which is not to say that the update's bad, but it shouldn't take seven years. Uh, I finished this already, didn't get the stars, not gonna bother. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff waiting to be completed. Uh, let's see. I hope I can... Oh. Uh, no, Mega Hack! Mega Hack has auto song download. Oh, this is so sad. Ugh. Fine. I shall suffer. Okay. I don't know if this is a 2.2 level. I'd imagine yes. Especially with that comment but yeah we're in 2.2 now i don't know how well i can play the 2.2 shenanigans while trying to talk oh that's an interesting load bar because of all the screen stuff like i can play the game if nothing is moving around but this is so weird to me i i don't even know where to fucking look anymore uh, give, give me a 2.21 level, please. Oh, I have to re-download the song every time. Anyway. 2.2. Woohoo, it's out. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna wait until Mega Hack functions again. Ooh, that's new text. Until Mega Hack functions again. Uh, and people have made... And people have made levels. Ultra detail, I guess. Do I need to click that? Okay. I'm so worried about what the fuck's gonna happen. Anyway. 2.2. Call me... What is this level? I don't want to fucking play. Um, call me a boom... Is this platformer? Okay, I've never played platformer mode. Is this arrow keys? Ugh, this is such a terrible control. See, platformer mode, I'm just against. Because it's just adding games into GD that aren't what the game is. Like, people have always made custom levels. Uh, with, like, custom games and whatever. Like, Sir Punch. Oh. Okay. So now what do I do? Huh? I'm so conf- This is- Like, this is not Geometry Dash anymore. <laughs> Why? Who asked for this? Ugh. Call me old-fashioned, but... 1.9 was the best time. Okay. Uh, 1.9 was the best period of the game. And then... Uh, 2.1 was the second 1.9. Because early 2.0 was dog shit. People had no idea how to make levels. Uh, and with all the new triggers now, I imagine the recent tab is just filled with seizure-inducing garbage. Is this a puzzle? Okay. What? Whatever. I don't care. Anyway. Is this a 2.2 demon? No, this looks like regular gameplay. Thank God. Not everything's infected already. Anyway. I'll wait. I'll see what Mega Hack has to, like, counter all of this update garbage. All the new 
like icons or whatever. I don't care. It's not really my problem. I've already picked my stuff, and it's what I'll use. See, this is nice and pretty, and everything makes sense. You can see what you're doing. I mean, like, people will still make bad gameplay, but now it's going to be bad gameplay with horrible effects on top of it. Anyway, I've been talking about Geometry Dash for too long. Let's talk about another game that's been updated. Ultra Kill. Literally today. Oh, man. Now that was an update. Whereas I'm extremely lukewarm about the Geometry Dash update... I am so fucking happy with the Ultra Kill update. The new chapter is everything I wanted. I mean, there's no new weapon yet. I imagine there will be. But there isn't one yet. Well, thanks for telegraphing that. Um, yeah, I played through all of it. There's a lot of jump scares. <laughs> Though it doesn't seem intentional. Maybe I'm just good at jump scaring myself but yeah I finished <sighs> fuck this level I finished um what is that I don't know what the fuck any of that means um it's another platformer <sighs> I finished all of the levels. I've P-ranked one of them. The first one, that is. Uh, as for secrets, I found about half of them. But I'm not a big secret hunter, so it's not, you know, I don't really care that much about it. This is so slidey. What? Uh... I don't want to play this. I w see, I would have played Ultra Kill for this video, but that's a game that requires like 100% brain power. Is the music going? What's up with that? What happened? Anyway, Ultra Kill update, 10 out of 10. Geometry Dash update, a nice. 4 out of 10 for me so far. Uh, and it's not that I don't like the game. I love this game. I have like over a thousand hours in it. I just don't care about the update. It took 7 years. Literally, unless it cures cancer. 7 years isn't justifiable. Oh, I finished the... Whatever, fantastic. Woohoo, stars. And this never played. Anyway, now on to the other game, Payday 3. <laughs> Is this down? Okay, Payday 3. So, Payday 3. There's more controversies. <laughs> Would you believe that? There's... Oh, that's nauseating. <laughs> Uh... It's gonna do something. I can tell. It's gonna do more. Ugh, I don't wanna play it anyway. Anyway, there's drama. The first DLC pack is released. At like half the price of the game itself. Which is insane. What are they thinking? <laughs> how how can you milk your players for more than you've already milked them? Who knows? Uh, as for the content itself, I don't know. I haven't played it. Uh, my my source is P Sam. He made a video about the new stuff, and he said it was fine. He plays the game, so I imagine he knows what he's talking about. Uh, 
I'm still not gonna come back to Payday 3. I'm just gonna... Okay, I broke it. Uh, I'm just gonna wait like a year. I'll come back, see then. But the pricing is absurd, obviously. You... Oh, I did change this icon. <laughs> uh, my little potato. Uh, the pricing is absurd. Literally nobody is going to deny that. So I'm certainly not going to buy the DLC. Uh, but that's not the only controversy. Because there's more controversies. In that the Trifecta Loot Bag, which was a pre-order bonus is being sold as a separate DLC, <laughs> which is... Okay, I get that a lot of games do this, where they sell, like, pre-order bonuses later on, but the key there is later on, like a year later, or two years later, or on, like, an anniversary or something like that. Okay, I don't really want to play that again. Uh... But Payday 3 is, like, mere months into the development, and they're already releasing the... I don't know if that was dangerous. They're already... Okay, clearly it wasn't. They're already releasing the pre-order stuff for separate purchase. And that, combined with the absurd DLC prices, basically just means that if you didn't get, like... Well, first off, if you want to play the game and you didn't get Gold Edition, you are just going to be wrung for money. Because if all the DLC costs half the price of the game, you got to be a fucking Saudi oil baron for that. No, Nobody is going to buy all the DLC. Unlike Payday 2, which would like drop a bundle and be like $7. You get a map, you get some guns, you get a tailor pack. And no... They were like $10. Point is, you would get more for less in Payday 2. And in Payday 3, you just get to pay and pay and pay. And <laughs> the real heist, as a bunch of people... I'm, like, I'm not the first person to say this. The real heist is what Starbreeze is doing. Though, really, it's Deep Silver's fault. And Sony's fault, apparently. The whole trifecta loot bag pre-order thing is, at least according to Elizabeth, because Sony wants uh, all pre-order bonuses to be available within some amount of months. Which, I mean, fine. But say that you're doing that. Don't just drop the DLC one day and be like, hey, who wants the pre-order bonus? It's so fucked up. Ugh. The game's a disaster, but everyone knew that already. Player numbers, not going to change, but I don't predict that they're going to change anyway. If you're still playing Payday 3, you're going to keep playing Payday 3. Nothing's going to stop you. Everyone who left, left, and they're not going to come back because the, the disasters keep coming. But if you were fine with the game, then you just stayed and call it a day. This kind of hurts my eyes. It's so bright. That's another problem I have. Okay, sure. Not gonna play that. But let's play something good. Uh, do I have any filter? Let's just go by classic. I actually beat a lot of these, but my save broke. So I lost a bunch of time. <laughs> I, I didn't even have X and Death Moon saved. Whoops. Alright, let's... Oh, is it gonna be... Ugh, okay, never mind. We're not gonna do that then. I'll just play Nine Circles. Uh, next thing I want to talk about. So, not not in the last Gaming and Talking, but the, because that was the Payday 3 one. I think, at least. Hopefully I'm not wrong on that. But in the one before that... I think I talked about seeing a musical, and I, funnily enough, we'll get to talk about a musical again, because since then I've seen two musicals. Uh, the first musical I saw was... I'm really annoyed by these extra indicators. I ran through the settings earlier, uh, and I did see an option to turn off the indicators, so I'll have to click that. Um, 
Oh, I used the th the thin wave from Mega Hack. This is so weird. Anyway, the first musical I saw was legally whoops was legally blonde by my high school, which I've already seen legally blonde. Uh, but my high my high school puts on like a musical every year, so I go to it. Well, I mean, I graduated, but I... It's funny, I only went once while I was a student. But after graduating, I've gone a couple times. It's cheap, I guess, is my reasoning. <laughs> anyway. It wasn't great. It was a... Good 6 out of 10. Because they... Legally Blonde has a lot of mature themes which the high schoolers could have done well but they were clearly still uncomfortable with it which i mean i can't blame them okay, I'm, I'm dog shit at the game let's move on to something else let's try and redo death moon why does this have a loading bar and the others didn't i'm so confused anyway it was okay could have been done better. Oh. I'm gonna get flipped backward, aren't I? Because I had that turned off in Mega Hack 2. Hmm. Uh, these are nauseating as well. I basically use Mega Hack to turn off anything annoying to me. Which I guess is the point. Anyway, that was okay. Could have been better. And the second musical I saw was Hamilton. Or maybe it's Alexander Hamilton? I don't actually remember. The point is, it's the famous one. Uh, for all the hype around it, it was okay. I get that it was hyped up because... It did something new musical-wise, being that it was it went sort of rap-styled, which is fine. But, like, the music was fine. The story itself was kind of eh. And I understand that it's sort of... Uh, whatever. I understand that it's sort of retelling someone's life. So it's not always going to be the most exciting thing in the world. But there were so many scenes that you could have just cut out. You know, like, update, when was there an update to this? Whatever, Bloodlust is a dog shit level, I'm not gonna play that. Uh, this level sucks too, but everyone was so happy with it. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait, hold on, I saw something. <laughs> this is still <laughs> completed. <laughs> yeah, I just no-clipped that the moment it came out. Fucking garbage level. Shouldn't have gotten any attention, but it did for some reason. Because, oh, hard level. We like hard levels. It's so hard. We gotta play it. Yeah, it's terrible, but... Whoa, it's so hard. Fucking garbage. Ugh. It's weird how I love this game, and the only thing I can do is complain. <laughs> anyway. Hamilton. Yeah, so, in one part... It introduced these, like, sisters, one of which who became his wife. And that's fine, okay? Why did the other sister have to sing? I literally did not care about her at all. But she had a whole song to herself. There were definitely parts during Hamilton when I was... Like, my eyes were shutting. And it's not like this was at super late at night. The, oh, there's a weird click in this one, I remember. Um, yeah, it's not like I went late. It was at, I think, like, 2 or 3 p.m. The point is, Hamilton, overhyped. Uh, I'd give it a, probably the same as I gave the high school production of Legally Blonde. Like, I mean, yeah, it was Broadway, so it had more budget. But overall, it was kind of, eh, eh, you know. Oh, I hear this level's broken. I don't know why it's broken. 
I'll never learn how to do this first jump. Even though I've beaten the level. <laughs> I will never figure it out. Maybe the jump is broken. Beyond me. Not my problem. Ooh, this is a classic! Wait, I didn't download the music. It is a memory level, though. We'll see how much I remember. Uh, what's the next topic I have? Ah. Finals. I finished my finals! Woohoo! Um. <laughs> yeah, I just wrote, woohoo, I finished finals on my, uh, my sheet. So... I don't really have much else to talk about. I finished my finals, uh, which means I have time now. I'm on break to do whatever. Phobos. It's a fun level. What other fun levels are there? Do I have anything saved or did that also get wiped? Why? I don't care about that level. I'll play my own levels. That's what we'll do. <laughs> People didn't like this level. <laughs> Makes sense. It's invisible. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start with... <laughs> that. This one has a custom song, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, Crimson Planet, if it had good gameplay. Also, Martino is trying to beat Crimson Planet, I think. Good luck to him. It's a cool level, but... I think it's atrociously unbalanced. Not that I've, like, played it in full. Oh, you got whole there. Completely forgot. I made this a long time ago. Anyway, yeah. I'm free, which means I get to do more stuff during my break. <laughs> like play Geometry Dash. What's the next thing I have? Ah, presenting. So, when I finished all my finals, my uh, quantum mechanics teacher offered to take uh, the entire quantum mechanics class out to lunch. Uh, or dinner. It was dinner, yeah. Dinner. And after that, he talked to me and he said that I have the opportunity to present my research at the symposium, which, I don't know, maybe other places do this too, but my college basically has a program where once a year, people who do research have the opportunity to like present their research. And out of the physics department, only me and this other guy got the opportunity. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I still need to get back to him on it, like officially. I said yes at the dinner, but I need to like, <laughs> whoops, I need to, uh, send them an email about it, get all my forms filled out and whatever, and then I get to give a physics talk. What can be more exciting than that, you know? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Because I, I really like giving speeches, which is strange because I'm not, like, social. Like, I'm, I'm, if you asked all of the physics department, they'd say I'm pretty quiet, which is true. I'm introverted, but if you put me on a stage, something like in my brain flips and I just talk. It's, I mean, it's sort of what I do for YouTube. Because as long as I can plan a script or something like that, I'm good to go. Oh my god, it's so intense. I really don't remember this level. Anyway, uh, what am I doing on break? I've set my <laughs> bloodbath too. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it was for some collab that never happened. I don't even remember with who it was. Probably Pluto. It seems like a Pluto thing. <clears throat> um, what are these fucking names? Terra Ball Challenge. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. It's a garbage level. <laughs> That's the first click. Oh, it's so bad. Why did I make this? And it only gets worse. This is the first part. <laughs> what, like, what is... It's so terrible. Oh, but Terra Ball, so I had to do it. Among Us, Chalelenge. 
<laughs> oh my god, guys, it's Slaughterhouse. <laughs> See, now this I'm proud of. This level I'm 100% proud of making. <laughs> yeah, what am I doing on break? Catching up on a bunch of shows. Uh, catching up on a bunch of books. Gonna catch up on a bunch of games. Uh, pff, what else? I made a tier list of all the anime I watched for fun. Uh, I don't remember this level. That's a bad transition. <laughs> Why did I make it like that? You can miss it. Let me see if I can space bar my way through the spam better. <sighs> that leaves me low. Whatever. Uploading bad levels is what I do. This is like a sort of nine circles thing I wanted to make. <sighs> Weird. I guess something changed about the physics to that jump. Because I remember it being much easier. Yeah, okay, I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Um, pff, other than that. Yeah, nothing else, just kinda gonna work on a video. Unlike the last one, which took almost like a month and a half because of school, uh, yeah, I've got time now. So I think, I think I'm going to be able to get a video out before the new year. But if not, early January. That's a terrible timing. I know how I made this. Because I always make things to, like, sync to music. So if you just listen to the the, the weird note, you can hit it. But mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. A little bit of a doo-doo gameplay, if you ask me now. <laughs> Did I not put a J block there? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm the greatest. Oh, and at this part, <laughs> I had no idea how to make a nine-circle ship. So that's cool. Anyway, I basically got through everything I wanted to say. That was all I got. Uh, my little potato. This jetpack is apparently for the platform mode. No, So uh, never going to do that. Yeah. Maybe I will play the, the new level. This has weird choke points. Like that click. That click is way tighter. Oh my god, Geometry Dash! I also noticed uh, that... <laughs> The last level was finger dash, and this one's just dash. I don't know what significance that has, but there you go. Also, I think something is... There's some, like, gravity machine or something? Because at a later part of this level... Uh, not at this one. I think at the one after this... You're in a ship, and it feels extremely heavy for some reason. But I mean, I know the physics were changed. Oh, I saw this in an EDW video. You just click. This ship, it feels so heavy. It takes so long to rise and so long to fall. I don't know what's up with that. Physics change. Woohoo. Like, we knew a physics change was coming, but it really didn't have to. Again, like a lot of this update, it could have just not happened and I would have been perfectly satisfied. Give me my 2.1 or 1.9 and everything's fine and dandy. Woohoo, one coin! Anyway, that's it.